Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial about logging in Golang. In this lesson, lesson 18, we are going to cover what a login is, the log package, how to log to a file, and the different logging frameworks available in Go. Let's start. Login is the process of keeping track of the events and activities of an application by writing them to an output such as a file, database or console. Logging is important because it helps us monitor and understand issues in our application. The log package in Golang is a built-in package that provides basic logging functionalities. It allows us to log messages at different levels of severities like info, warning and error. The log package also provides a default logger that writes to the standard error. Let's write a simple example. Inside my main.go file, I'm going to type package main and then I'm going to import the log package. Then I'm going to write the main function. Inside the main function, I'm going to use the log package printing the console a message so in this case i'm going to use the print ln function from the log package with a specific message for example this is this is a message from the log and then i'm going to use also the function fatal put in the message like this is a fatal message from the log. Let's see. Let's open the terminal. Type go run main.go. Perfect. We can see our log message where the first one is just the info because we use the print ln function. Instead, the second one is the fatal level with the message this is a fatal message from the log to log to a file we need to create a file and set it as an output of the logger we can do this using the os package which provides the functionality to create and write to a file let's see an example on how to log to a file. Inside the main function, I'm going to use the OS package, OS open file. The open file must have a name, a flag, and of course the file mode, the permission. So I'm going to type here the name of the file, log file.log. The flag, I'm going to use os.append or os dot create or os dot write only and then the permission to write on the file I'm going to put 0644 perfect the open file return the pointer of the file or an error so file or r good and then I'm going to check. So I'm going to check if R is different from nil, meaning that we have an error. And in this case, I'm going to lock the error using the fatal function from the log package. I'm going to print in console just the error message. Else, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the log to the file set output I'm going to put the file and then I'm going to write inside the file log.println and then a message like this is a log message perfect and then we need to remember to always close the file so defer file dot close so in this example 
we try to have the file if there is an error when we try to read the file so if we try we try to fetch the file the log file if there is an error i'm going to print it in the log with the level fatal the error message otherwise i'm going to print inside the log file dot log the message this is a log file in both of the case i'm going to close the file let's see in action open the terminal here i have only the main dot go so i don't have the log file dot log so let's see go run main dot go and here we can see the log file let me check the content of this file this is a log message while the log package provides a basic login functionalities there is many third-party login framework available in go that provide advanced features such as a configurable login level log ro rotation and integration with popular login backends like Elasticsearch, Splunk, and more. Some popular login framework in Go are Logrus, Zap, and GoKit Log. Here there is an example of how to use the Logrus library. Here, for example, a piece of code they show you how to use the Logrus log library uh, available in Go. As we can see here, we have different parameters like with fill or, for example, the log level, etc. etc. In this tutorial, we have learned what logging is and how to log messages using the log package in Go. We also cover how to log to a file and different logging frameworks available in Go. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.